So I can watch We're going to finish off this something weird double feature by watching Psyched by the 4D Witch. Never saw it. Now we will. We may be fine. This physical world of ours stands another, more ethereal realm, totally ignored by science because of a reluctance to investigate it. Here we meet Cindy. My name is Cindy. I'm about to let you in on the story of a girl possessed, possessed by an evil ancestor. Which could happen to your mind, too, if you ever get mixed up with witchcraft. In this case, sexual witchcraft. I decided to bone up on witchcraft. And finally, I turned up a fascinating book called Rituals on Sexual Witchcraft. The night I finished it, I remember how disappointed I was that I couldn't make the first ritual I tried work at all. And I followed all the abracadabra right to the letter. She resurrects a witch named Abigail. Cindy. You're a lovely creature, but you've never tasted the joy of sexual climax, have you? Not even by masturbation. How would you like to have an adventurous sex life and still remain a virgin? I can make it possible. Really? But, but how can I believe you? Give me a sign of your power like Make something appear by magic over there. How about a magic cup? Very well. Here's a magic cup for you. As a souvenir. Magical words I was longing to hear. All right, Cindy. Let's fantasy fuck now. Yeah, let's. I, I thought you'd forgotten me, Abigail. Hardly, Cindy. Now, in your first adventure, you fall in love with your own... Abigail gives her the climax she's looking for. You know, inside you. You've just had the world's greatest climax, Cindy. A beautiful astral orgasm. And I shared it with you. Want to her next fantasy sequence involves sex with her gay neighbor. Now, slowly pull my heart. Hot panties down. Deep chill. And get ready for some real action, you hear? <laughs> Picking up your thought, girlie. Once again. Even though that neighbor is a gay man, he gives into that temptation. Running, running for the longest time. Adventure number three. When I returned from trance, Jan's dad was taking my pulse, and Jan was getting all excited. Coming into my room. It's her aunt. Aunt Fanny, of all people, whom I planned to confide in that very night. But now my secret self seemed to respond to the occasion, as if it had planned it all. She ends up having an affair with her aunt me, tonight. Fanny? So you picked up my thoughts. Daddy said he won't be back till late tonight. Yes, I picked up your thoughts. But it sure surprised me. I've never guessed you were such a sexy witch. Yes, I can't show you what Cindy and her Aunt Fanny are doing, but use your imagination. The unwanted vision came again, and this time I saw with it a strange, weird eye looking at me. One of several weird astral eyes created by Abigail, I soon learned. It took me a moment to recover from the shock. Even demonism and Satan worship. Where was it leading in truth, and where would it end? I began to dread the thought of Abigail's return, and the night before it happened, I had a nightmare that disturbed my sleep for hours. Then Abigail shows her oh, like what? her friend Jan like with a snake. Out of one of my own wild sex fantasies, where a new astral world 
protege of mine will have sex relations with a snake. I guarantee you the strongest climax yet, just from watching. Come again, a snake? Hi. Can't show you a lot of this either, but this is Jan and the clearly rubber snake. go from one exploit to another without the weekly waiting period. Isn't that good news? It's no use, Abigail. I've lost faith in you and I'm canceling out. This time for sure. Cindy's done. I bet you just don't believe that I can top that last adventure. Do you? Jan died in a car accident, apparently. In the astral world. If you'll make passionate love to her like you did to Aunt Fanny. Cindy. Then you'll be closer than ever. Make love to a female corpse? Of a close friend? You are satanic, Abigail. You are a devil worshiper. And this is one of Satan's rituals for sure. Cindy's had enough. Quits, and you can't stop me, Abigail, because I didn't sell you my soul. Just you remember that. May God forgive you, Abigail, for the path you're traveling on. You Salem witch bitch. Yes. Totally witch on. bitch. And repulsion is one emotion that can permanently break a witch's spell. So I learned at that moment. I wasn't, however, so much concerned for myself as I was for rescuing Jan from Abigail's clutches. So I prayed hard. Jan, Jan, Abigail's evil, and she's after you. I'm praying for your protection, and that if it isn't too late, that is. Heartbeat was almost gone. Cindy talks to Jan's father. She came to, swearing something about a Salem witch bitch. And then the lights here, they were just went out for a while. It's all so bewildering. This is Cindy's brother, Mark. And Abigail decides to get even with Cindy by going after Mark. Hello there, Mark. This is your ancestor, Abigail. The witch of Salem. May I'm turning you tonight into something you've always secretly dreaded. A sex vampire. That's right, a Strictly sex drinks, vampire. Only repent, you understand. Nothing personal against you, Mark. Mark is overwhelmed by what he heard, so he decides to run off to Chinatown to play some video games. Well, after a nice Chinese dinner, I felt on top of the world again. I'll bet it was all just a crazy hallucination. Somebody slipped me some LSD. That's me, I asked. That's it wasn't right, LSD. I knew you. A sex vampire in the making. You mean you've done it? Dig those fangs. It was all true? About your evil eye? Especially watches new hypnotic powers of Cindy is forced to watch. Ah, yes, even you will find his victims sexually exciting Cindy and your reward will be more climaxes even as they die before your very eyes so our sex vampire is stalking his victim slowly with a zombie limp but eventually does catch her I'm not sure what exactly was happening here, but somehow somebody ends up shooting our sex vampire. I don't know who that was. Cindy decides to see a doctor. Oh, Christ. You know, I always wanted to make love to you, didn't you? Tell me you knew, Cindy. This girl can't I win. I knew something. By that sexy look you always had in your eyes, Doctor. Like the sex goddess of ancient times, Cindy. And that's the way I always think of you. 
The doctor says she has to have a real climax with a real person, skin on skin. And he's more than eager to help with that. Also, Cindy, my darling, my beloved one, my sex goddess. They both reach that climax. of suffering and agony. Apparently he's about to die perhaps because of it. Perhaps his heart wasn't up to such a stupendous climax. Or perhaps I myself boosted the voltage on him because he refused to believe in me, the vampire witch. Or is this whole thing, including myself, just a strange sexual dream on the part of Cindy's subconscious mind? All right, let's talk about Psyched by the 4D Witch. This is one of those movies you just finish watching and say, what the hell did I just watch? Um, it's on the other half of this uh, something weird uh, way out double feature with Monster A Go Go. This film came out in 1973. It's uh, exploitation, sexploitation. Um, there's a lot of nudity in this movie. Near as I can tell, um, there's a woman who um, uh, somehow conjures up a witch, uh, an ancient relative of hers named Abigail. Abigail says, hey, look, Cindy, um, I know you're a virgin, but I can let you experience sexual things without actually uh, losing your virginity. So Cindy's like, yeah, bring it on. So she has what she calls fantasy fucks. It's fantasy fuck time. And then she puts her through these scenarios, which I guess they're just in her mind. I don't know, where she has sex with her gay neighbor. Yes, he's a man and he's gay, but somehow he gives in to her. Uh, then she has sex with her Aunt Franny. Aunt Fanny, I'm sorry. And then, uh, and then she goes at, and once Cindy resists a little bit, she goes after Cindy's brother, Mark, and turns him into a sex vampire. Not just a vampire, but a sex vampire. And Cindy is forced to watch this as well, or experience this, and then she gets so turned on by watching her brother that she has a climax. That's all she's doing. She's getting one climax after the other in this film. Uh, eventually, she tries to break free from this witch and decides to go see this doctor, psychiatrist guy. And this doctor uh, suddenly starts getting all horny with her and takes advantage of her and says, I've always loved you, I've always wanted you, blah, blah, blah. And then you need to experience a real climax with a real man, real skin on skin. So she gives into that. They have a climax. And there's a narration by Abigail saying, hey, uh, this is the doctor's last climax. He doesn't know he's about to die, blah, blah, blah. Or am I just re in, in everybody's imagination? I don't know. That's pretty much the film. Again, this was a weird, weird, weird movie. Uh, there's only narration in this movie. There's no actual dialogue. It's kind of like the Hollywood Strangler meets Skid Row Slasher. Plenty of nudity in this movie throughout by actors and actresses who you've never heard from again. The director, this is the only thing he ever did. I don't know where this movie came from, but um, it exists. So here it is, right? Um, there's a weird imagery in this movie, just a lot of psychedelic things going on, uh, a couple of like psychedelic songs too, which actually aren't that bad, but just weird, strange images, sometimes there's bad lighting, the sex vampire scenes we could barely see because it was so dark and as he was stalking her outside. Ah, this is one of those movies, like I said, you just wonder, what the hell did I just watch? Psyched by the 4D Witch. I had owned this DVD for probably 15 years, I never watched either one of these until this, until past week. Um... Wow, quite a film. So anyway, you can get this DVD still on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you want to buy it. I think it's in the $30 range. Um, I don't know why, but it is. So put out by something weird, and it is weird, all right. So anyway, let me know what you think about this if you've seen this strange little film, Psyched by the 4D Witch. Watch it and tell me what you think about it. Bye.